Hi guys, it's me Maria, the woman with um, excessive sweating in her my palm, my feet, and my armpit. Um, last time, last video that I made, um, that was May 24th, I uh, was talking about using carpal lotion for my hand, my foot, and my armpit. It's in there. Um, now this time I'm gonna talk about does it work um, carpy lotion the first three days that I use it I noticed that um, it makes my hand so dry it's like I was working in a construction site like I'm making a cement or there's a powder in my hand it's like but it also make my feet dry um it gets crack in the sides i'll show you a video of my feet because i i took a video of my feet um while i'm using carpe what's how my feet looks like if i have the carpe on it but the question if it works or it help yes yes it does help but you cannot have it all um, if you don't want your hands or feet gets dry uh, it's all up to you uh, my feet gets really dry I have a terrible looking feet but <laughs> I think it gets worse <laughs> but I'm I'm fine with it I, if it helps my sweating why not and the carpe helps a lot more it works more in my armpit because three days after I wore uh, I, I use it I see that it really works I did not sweat in my armpit anymore Um, this time I, I if I have I still sweat yeah I still sweat but not as bad as before without carpe so maybe when I use this carpe lotion I'm expecting this product to totally heal my hyperhidrosis but no it's it's not how it works um, I don't think hyperhidrosis have um cure there is a way to prevent i mean minimize it but not totally cure it um carpe lotion after i use it i've been using it for more than a month i know i'm gonna make a an update if it works for after one month but i was late because kind of busy um if I stop using it like sometimes I forget because or I'm, I'm in a hurry my sweating is the same before when I the time that I did not discover carpe yet so even if you have been using it already and then that day you will not use it you will you expect that you sweat as much as you sweat before but if you use carpe you will still sweat but not as bad as if you don't put some if it makes sense if I don't know if I explain it well but yeah it's been more than a month since I'm using carpe I still sweat yeah but if I use it it's not as bad if I will not put some I've, um, I don't know my hand is um, very sensitive with like lotion if every time I put on lotion it will just automatically the sweat will just automatically mix with the lotion so uh, it's so it, I, I usually put lotion in my body first before I put on my carpet lotion in my in my hand 
So before I put Carpe lotion in my hand, my hands, my palm are already sweating because of it. I think lotion can trigger hyperhidrosis too. I, I, for me, every time I put lotion on, it will automatically, the moment my palm feels the lotion in it, it will just automatically sweat out. I don't know what's in, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's up to you. I, I will not say use it. I will not say don't use it. Because for me, it helped. It helped not as much as I expected because my situation is very worse like it if you saw my video before you I show it there that the dripping of my sweat actually now I'm 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 there I'm sweating a little bit but not as bad as before I just put carpal lotion on <clears throat> And I notice in my feet that it crack, it get crack here in the in the side of my palm of my feet. It gets so dry in my feet, but I, cause I the instruction is put the carpe in your console of your feet, feet um the palm of your feet, but since my the side of my feet like here and here also sweat, so I also. <laughs> put carpe there but what happened is it gets so dry so it cracks <laughs> made some crack here so I start stop um, I never put carpe there anymore just in the palm but I notice it sweats in the side not as much as it sweat in the palm because there's carpe there so I'm torn between having a crack fit dry feet or dry which is not sweating I don't know dry skin or dry uh, sweat free so um you cannot have it all <laughs> I tried to scrub my feet just to minimize the cracks so it helps too but um if the carpet lotion dries up because it's white it shows it's like I step on a cement <laughs> or if in my hand it's like I'm doing some flour mixing or cement mixing but um, I am more com let me say this I am more comfortable to shake hands with people compare if I will not use carpet that's what I can say in my armpit it works I still I still um, sweat a little bit in my armpit if like I'm back to normal like so nervous or so hot outside but not like if I don't put carpe it like it's like I can feel it drip here I just noticed in my armpit too uh, before I forget uh, because I before I never use um, deodorant or um, armpit products because I itch and it gets my it makes my armpit um, dark now the uh, the carpet lotion I actually stopped for a week because after three days I noticed that it works it never my armpit never sweat but it itches so bad it's like I cannot stop scratching my armpit and I don't want to scratch because if you keep scratching it will give you rashes there and it will it itches so I stop for a week and then I use it again just once a day because the instruction there is um after you sh uh, after you shower uh, like that and then right before going to bed but I, I don't I don't I don't put carpe product in my armpit at night anymore just once a day so it helps it doesn't make my armpit so itchy I can still feel a little itch but I'm willing to sacrifice the itch just to have a dry drier armpit not totally dry because sometimes I still feel like there's a little sweat there sometimes but yeah I'd rather have 
a little itch in my armpit but if it it gives me a, a drier armpit compared before because I can wear a lighted color now without it, it sometimes it still show a little bit not but not like a whole map of water in my armpit so yeah if you ask me if it works yes it helps but not totally cure you it doesn't totally cure me but it helps so I still I will still gonna use this I will continue using this actually I already ordered another batch because I was out already especially for food because my feet my feet is bigger than my hand and my armpit so I ordered more for feet and hand because the armpit you don't really use much and I only only use once a day for my armpit for my hand as much as I can like um, after I wash my hand I'm gonna put carpe again because if I'm working like if you eat you're gonna wash your hand so the carpe lotion is washed out so you're gonna put carpe again to your hands so you put so you use you use more for your hand not much as your as your feet but <laughs> but um your feet is bigger than your hand so that's why you you will need more for hand and foot so once again guys it helps but it doesn't cure totally cure that's all i can say for carpe in fairness it helps yeah so if you want to try if you only have problem with your armpit yes i would recommend carpe lotion if you don't have sensitive skin because if you have sensitive skin uh it will itch yeah but i'm willing to sacrifice that because it's not as bad as before the itching um sometimes i can forget i will just try to forget that oh my armpit itch <laughs> i just don't start scratching it because if you start scratching it it will continue to itch so yes um thank you carpe lotion i can shake hands people now confidently more than before because i don't want to shake hands to people before because oh <laughs> so um thank you guys for this uh there are some who ask me if maria the scarpy works tell me if it works like that so now yeah it works but it doesn't totally cure you so it's up to you if you gonna spend money it's not that bad though and then don't expect a totally cured hyper hydrosis i don't know what can cure this is this an illness or disease or whatever um but yeah this is your um mm, this will minimize your sweating if you use it because even if you already use it like a month and if you don't use that in a day it, <laughs> your sweating will be like this it will drip so use it every time <laughs> use it every time so thank you so much guys um i hope we can find something that can totally cure us whoever those people because i just know that um five percent of the people around the world have hyperhidrosis so it makes me feel like oh, so i'm not alone i'm not i'm not weird i'm not whatever so <coughs> What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, uh, so whoever who have hyperhidrosis, you are not alone. I, I'm here. <laughs> and I still have. Um, okay. <laughs> if, I found, if you found something that cure you, please tell me. And if I will find something that cure, can cure me too, I'll, I'll share it to you guys. Babush and more power. <laughs> more sweaty power more sweat power <laughs> bye guys 
this is after a few days of stopping my stopping to put a carpet here in the side of my feet because the instruction is in the console in the palm of your feet but my the side here also sweat up to here that's why i also put carpet here but it really makes my feet so dry that they look like a dry dry field it's like there's a huge drought happening here but and that's why i stopped now it looks a little better now this is how my hands looks like guys every time after i put on carpet lotion it's like uh there's a powder or flour or cement in my hand but i don't care as long as i have a drier hand i have good news it's dry dry i wear these shirts since time I, what time i changed 10 a.m 10 a.m. 10 a.m. I changed 10 a.m. and now it's quarter to six. So, quarter to seven. <laughs> Close enough. Quarter to seven. So how long was that? How many hours? How many hours was that? That's almost nine hours. Yeah. So it's dry. Never. No, I never sweat in here in my armpit. So that's good news. It's my third day. Third day. Ha ha ha!